The next set of questions, uh, 10 through 14, you have a fruitcake is tossed straight up into the air with an initial speed of 15 meters per second. It goes up and then falls back down and is eventually caught and eaten. Yuck. Uh, at the same height it was thrown, ignore air resistance. So uh, how long does it take to reach its maximum height? What's the total, what's the total time in the air? Uh, and how high does it rise? What is its apex at what is velocity at the apex and what's the acceleration at its highest point? All right, so you throw this thing upward, it reaches the highest point and then it comes back down again. And it says that uh, it, it is caught at the same height it was thrown. That means the delta y for the whole trip is zero. There's some information that we have here. This upward velocity initially is 15 meters per second. You know the velocity at the highest point at the apex is zero because it stopped rising. And that's how we're going to find the height with that piece of information. And you also know that the velocity just before it strikes the ground, or is just caught again, is negative 15 meters per second. If you remember, there's a whole bunch of different ways to do these types of questions. So I'm going to start with how long it will take to reach, uh, sorry, I'm on the, how long it will take to reach its maximum height. Okay, so that's just the time it takes to go up and stop at that point. So we're only looking at half of the time for the whole trip. You're asked for the full, full time in the next question. So uh, for all these questions, use an acceleration of negative g, all right, negative 10. To find the time, where should I do this? Can you still see it? Yeah. So to find the time, I'm going to use v equals at plus v sub 0. And that's 0. That's negative 10. There's t. And this was launched at 15. So if I add 10t to the other side and divide through by 10, then I get the time it takes to go up and stop at the top. That's why that's 0 at the top is going to be 10, um, 15 over 10 is 1.5 seconds. So it takes 1.5 seconds to go up. So this it's up here at 1.5 seconds. If it takes 1.5 seconds to go up, it must take 1.5 seconds to go down. And so the next question asks for the total time. So total t equals 2 times 1.5, which of course is 3 seconds. How high does it rise? There's a, a, a zillion ways to do this. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways to do it. I'm going to use I'm going to use delta y again. This delta y, not the one when it comes back down. The delta y up here. You can use an h if you prefer height just to differentiate those. But it's just a delta y at 1.5 seconds, not at three seconds. Use the 1.5 seconds to figure out its delta y right here at 1.5 seconds when it stopped. So I'll put that just in parentheses at 1.5 seconds. Just, you don't, need, you don't need to do that, all right? But it's, that might be confusing. Um, anyhow, it's, how high does it go using 1.5 seconds? I'm going to use this equation because I find it easier. So that's 1 half. It starts off at 15, it stops at its highest point, and it only takes 1.5 seconds to get there. And um, let's just double check, that's going to be 11.25 meters. Okay, that's how high it rises. Well, what's next? Oh, what's its velocity at, uh, at the apex? Well, we already said that the velocity at the apex is zero. It stopped rising. And what's its acceleration at its highest point? It's negative g. In this case, I'm using negative 10. Even when it stopped at the apex, it still has acceleration. Otherwise, it would never come down again. It has acceleration, the same acceleration of negative g, negative 10, negative g, all the way through the, through the journey on the way up. This is after it goes in the air. 
It's decelerating on the way up. That's why its acceleration is negative 10 on the way up. It stopped and turned it around up here. Acceleration is negative 10, negative g at the top, which is the answer to that question 14. And then it has negative acceleration, negative g, negative 10 on the way down. It has the same negative acceleration, negative g, the entire journey, all right, after it's thrown up, launched, and before it's caught, the entire journey through the air. All right.